Agent Nation, my name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. We're gonna start things off light for our first story of the day. There's some drama in the Twitterverse and this time, Badge Plug is involved. I wanna take this moment to apologize to everybody. I was loading things into my brand new Jeep outside when this drama popped off, so I didn't get a chance to catch the initial screenshot. I know I'll let you guys down, but I did catch the rest of it. Badge Plug says, what does collabing have to do with complaining about the build, my guy? Grinding responds, why collab with someone who has a toxic build? No doubt in my mind the title would be playing with the best stretch big on NBA 2K19, to even though you said you hate that. NBA Hustle added in a little cheeky, hey, Simply just checked his ass, Simply Squad, stand up. Duke Dennis got in the mix. He said, I knew my build in 2K18, lol. Grinding responded saying, exactly. Dude's acting like we made the game, LMAO. Go complain to Ronnie, not me. It seems as if Badge Plug was very, very angry about Stretch Bigs, and for whatever reason, he had his sights aimed at grinding, or maybe just grinding jumped into the mix. I jumped into DMs with grinding, I was like, bro, like, I missed the first screenshot. Can you like, and he's like, ah, I don't know what to tell you, bro. <laughs> Whenever you're feeling bad, just remember there's someone out there who thinks they're good with the Stretch Big. And when you're about to quit, remember there are people who think their stretches take more skill than a playmaker ISOing. Let that sink in. Grinding got involved, he said, whenever you're feeling bad, just realize that there's still people b***ing about a video game four months after release. LMFAO, y'all are so sad at this point. Badge had some words, said, grinding, I don't care if someone uses a stretch, I care that people think they're good. Or they try and act like a playmaker, does two moves, maybe on a random, but isoing takes a million times more skill than a stretch, and especially dual center lineups. Your logic makes no sense. So because we made an archetype, we're not allowed to be happy when we win or make content hyping ourselves up. You ran two centers on 2K18, Badge. Stop being a hypocrite. Woo! Badge had something to say. I had a thousand wins on my guard. Once again, I made a stretch in 18 to combat losing to a stretch because they were too good. I ran two centers when I streamed so I can go on a 20 or 30 and get off with no pressure of losing. Man, they got the scope aim, simply said, so what you're saying is, you didn't spend all your complaining and just adjust it to the meta? Why was 2K18 bad smarter than 2K19 bad? If you guys aren't on Twitter, this happens a lot. A lot of YouTubers like to take shots at archetypes they think are weak or too easy or overpowered. At the start of the year, the shot creators were catching a lot of it and even I was involved in that, you know. But recently, it's been happening a lot with Stretch Biggs, and I don't know, man. Grinding said he had about enough of it. All right, so that was like a funny little first story of the day. For our next story of the day, Hank the Tank had a conversation with NBA 2K support, posted some screenshots on Twitter, and he wasn't happy. He put out this tweet saying, your support literally doesn't support anyone. I mean, I guess you can be right, and your game can crumble instead of listening to me and 99% of the entire 2K community. Carry on with your day. Merry Christmas, Hank said. He linked to a screenshot below the conversation. 2K support said, lag switching is not possible in our game. Uh, yes it is. They responded saying, any delayed connection will just cause a complete connection failure. Possibly it is another issue, but players are unable to lag switch. However, I will still submit your information in for investigation of these players. Hank said thanks. He did a follow-up tweet saying, bro, I sent the proof and everything, LMFA, get me out of this community. He then decided to respond saying, Christina from 2K Support needs to be fired. Now, I'm gonna make this a PSA for everybody, all right? Because I did do a two-part series on this in 2K18, investigating, finding all the answers. All right, it was a fantastic couple of videos, link in the description and the card above. This is what I realized. 2K Support is technically not lying. Lag switching is not possible in their game. You guys keep calling it lag switching when it's not. It's called DDoS. It's a DDoS attack. This is what a lag switch is. It's just a switch that turns off and on your connection. What, what Hank is trying to describe here is called DDoS attacking. It's when you flood a server with so much random shenanigans, bullshit packets, that it just doesn't know what to do and decides to stop working. Now, depending on how much they send, right? If they send a little bit, it'll delay the server and you'll get more latency. But if they send a ton of it, it'll completely crash the server and kick you from the park. If you hit up 2K support and said, yo, why are people doing DDoS attacks on your servers? Why aren't you doing anything to protect yourself? Then maybe they would have give you a real answer, but most likely they would have just dodged the question and tried to pretend like nothing really happened. 
Because that's a pretty embarrassing thing to admit, right? You have these servers that you host with Amazon Web Services, and you do a horrible job of protecting yourself from people that are actively attacking it every single day. And this kind of carries on to our next story of the day, because Hank is mad that he's playing with lag switches, but in the last drama alert, if you caught it, there was a lot of drama and people accusing Hank of playing with and paying lag switchers to hold the servers. The allegation specifically stated that Hank was paying $150 to a specific delayer, and that delayer was holding the servers so other people can't play uh, the Gold Rush event. And so if he can play, nobody else can play, then he's gonna win the event, and he did win it. And there was some pretty damning evidence. I'll leave you to watch the video if you missed it, but it's just like, Hank, bro, it's like, you, there's clearly proof of you online that you were in a park with a delayer, there was a payment sent by Cole the man, who you live in a house with, and I don't know if he was aware of the payment or he wasn't or whatever the case is, because nobody is saying anything. You spent a whole two hours responding to pretty much everything Poor Boy Sin was saying on Twitter. And so when someone drops screenshots, some pretty damning screenshots, I was thinking, it's not gonna be long before Hank says something. He was just saying a whole lot of things. This is one thing I think, if it was me, I'd wanna defend myself of. Because I've been accused of uh, booting people before, and yo, it's a very serious thing, right? Because I get that some people can get frustrated sometimes and accuse people of specific things, but before you call someone a delayer, you have to be a thousand percent sure. Because it's not just like something cheaters do on video games, it's actually punishable, it's a felony to do that. And so for whatever reason, if 2K wanted to take everyone to court for one day, then they could do that, and they would probably win. That's besides the point. I hope we learned a couple things from this story. One, not lag switching, it's called DDoSing. Two, Hank, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I, I wanna wait some more, but the fact that you haven't said anything is not a good look. And to, to me, it's looking like a guilty verdict, my guy. And you know, I like you, Hank the Tank, but let's move on to the next story. I wanna give a huge shout out to privacy.com for helping sponsor this video. Privacy.com is a website that helps you save money and stay secure when you're making transactions online. Let's say I'm trying to subscribe to Netflix, $10 a month, but I only wanna do one month. I'm not trying to do two, three, four. You don't need to give him your debit card or credit card information. You just go on the website, you create a card, it gives you the information. You can nickname it Netflix, put a spending limit as $10 and make it single use, boom. That way you don't get hit with charges over and over and over again. You get a chance to control the money you're spending. It's 2019, if you don't feel secure giving a bunch of websites your credit card or debit card information, this website is a perfect solution. And if you invite a friend, you and the friend you invited both get $5. Also, did I forget to mention it's free? You know, worst case scenario, somebody gets a Netflix card, they get $10. If I have my credit card in, I'd literally have to call my bank, close the card, get a new card, and I've had to do that before. I'll leave a link in the description. It's privacy.com slash agent zero zero to get $5 off your first purchase. For our next story of the day, in my last 2K drama alert, I talked about how Nate XC pissed off YBN Almighty J. He got so furious, he was pulling out weapons and he said he wanted to find his address. He'd be willing to pay 5,000 to make it happen. In that video, I said, I couldn't find what Nade said to piss off YB and Almighty J to the point where he literally wanted to go to Florida to find this guy with his weapon. Well, uh, I found the clip. Surprise, surprise, it wasn't too hard to find. We're gonna watch it and then you're gonna, let's, let's just watch it, all right? We're gonna watch it. YB and Almighty J said mod me. I don't even know who the f you are coming to my chat asking for mod. Just because you rich or some shit. just because you got the clout or some shit. you think I'm gonna give you mine out of here you better earn that shit. like everybody else you ain't special oh my god now he's now he's coming into my chat telling me he, he he has more money than me congrats bro congrats congrats you got more money with your weak ass music who the fuck listens to almighty J? no one listens to your weak ass songs trash as fuck. let me make sense of this he was so mad that Nade didn't give him mod that he was gonna fly to Florida with a gun? Man, I thought he said some reckless stuff, man. Nate's not really, what, what's wrong with what he said? If, if there's a system on how to get mod, maybe you have to watch this much of the stream or maybe he, have to, maybe he has to know you personally, I don't know. But he's saying you just have to work for the mod. Just keeping it fair across everybody. He's not gonna give it to you just because he doesn't know you. I feel like that's pretty fair right there. And for the first time in history, I, I could say Nade made a drama, a 2K drama alert and he wasn't doing some dumb I'm so proud of you, Nade. He even put out a tweet saying, it's 2019 New Year, I'm done beefing over the internet. You wanna mention me? I'm not responding. Man, it's like he's like a whole brand new person now. <laughs> he even kind of congratulated Grinding on getting his YouTube logo. He said, 
Grinding just got the Xbox logo. I feel jealous, I'm not gonna lie, that's a dope feeling. So I mean, it's not really a congrats, but it's, it's kind of like a congrats. He's turned a new leaf, ladies and gentlemen, and there's some good news. For our next story of the day, talking about false allegations, man. Charisma's out here just spraying randomly hope in one of these land. He said this on Twitter. Ah, so when I said I felt delayed, that was you? I'm done. Ball Crack had responded to that saying, shut your ass up and take the L. Your weak ass dribbling combos wasn't gonna get you far. Dribbling like patch 3 2K18. It's a new game. Learn some new shit. You just suck, dude. I don't delay either. It's not my fault your PS4 couldn't handle the army of bald heads watching you get your ass dropped off. I keep trying to tell y'all, man. Some of these people just like, if you, if I get delayed in a game, my immediate thing isn't the other team was doing it because it could be anybody on the entire park. And if it was the other team, it would be too obvious. They would only do it on my possessions. So it's like charisma, bro. You can't be saying that to people. It's not a good look, man. It just isn't, period. We're gonna have to cut that out in 2019. These, all these false allegations. Unless you're coming with some serious evidence about something happening, I don't wanna hear it. I've been playing a decent amount with G-Man over the last few weeks. He seems like a really nice guy. And <laughs> I can guarantee you, he wouldn't be delaying anybody to win in a random park game. For our next story of the day, this time, J.R. Smith is in the news. A screenshot of DMs with J.R. Smith in a badge grinder leak, because of course, nobody in the 2K community can keep their mouths shut about anything. It goes as follows. How long would it take to go from a 91 to a 95? Five to 20 days, which by the way is a massive range. You're basically telling him, I don't know, man, whenever we get it done. Sweet, how does this work? I'm in. Hey, that's gonna cost around $450. That sounds perfect for you, question mark? I didn't even realize who I was texting. This is amazing, man. You mean to tell me you opened up a DM, saw a little verified symbol, didn't even bother to check who that was. Didn't read the name, didn't see the photo, nothing. J.R. Smith, let this be a lesson to you. Nobody in this community can keep their mouth shut about anything, right? The second something even remotely exciting happens for them, they're just screenshotting and sending messages, so be very, very, very careful. Also, don't give your account to a guy you don't know, because these guys have a just very high potential of them finessing you. I've had it happen to me before, bro, and it's not happening again. Uh, I only trust like a couple people with my account, you know? That's besides the point, I thought it was a funny story. For the next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, g size is in the news for the first time in a very long time. Maybe the first time ever. You guys are gonna be very proud of me to know that I captured the screenshot this time, ladies and gentlemen. The tweet was deleted, but before it was deleted, Agent Beamstar was on the case, baby. Now you will be disappointed to know that the quote tweet that he was responding to was in fact deleted. Let's take a look at the screenshot, ladies and gentlemen. Davis said something, deleted, but G-Size decided to respond saying, I remember me uploading a video to patch them on September 20th, and you said play better defense. Now everyone is complaining and finally opening their eyes. Also, people thought I was lying to them when my 99 got hacked last year. Now you see for yourselves. He was taking a couple shots there. He was saying, ladies and gentlemen, my name is G-Size, and I've been saying patch stretch bigs all year. I think he's talking about stretch bigs. Probably, right? Because they're the most overpowered archetype, they need to be passed, <laughs> all that stuff. And he was also saying, yo, when everybody thought I was lying about being hacked and losing my 99 last year, I wasn't playing. It's happening to other people this year. Davis, for future reference, stop deleting your newsworthy tweets. Please, it's not a good look, bro. Plus I need it for a 2K drama alert. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the drama alert, man, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, put on post notifications, click this video, that video, this video, or that video. If you don't do any of those things, you're dead to me. I'm playing, y'all. I love you guys, man. I do. I, I was going to put a knife into the frame, but then I think it might get demonetized. Let me not do that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go.